Uh, good evening. Uh, just uh, a little mystified this evening. Uh, I think, as you know, I don't have life figured out. It, it mystifies me uh, fairly frequently. Uh, I talked about this a few years ago. We were on Maui, Hawaii, and we were going up country, which is high altitude, and there's a stupa up there, a Buddhist retreat where people go and do retreats. And uh, they, uh, we left the car, got part way up there, and uh, one of my daughters, Naomi, I'm watching. I said, "What's wrong?" She said, "Dad, I really don't feel good." And I said, "Okay, well, let me try giving you an adjustment." And uh, because chiropractic adjustments, if you don't get them regularly, uh, well, I just think that they're beneficial. Uh, I've seen them work in my chiropractor, so of course I would think that. But. Uh, Adjusted her. I said, how you doing? She said, I, I don't feel any better. I'm, I'm going to go back to the car and lay down. I said, I'll walk back down with you. We were about halfway up to the stoop, I guess. And she said, no, no, I can go myself. I said, no, no. Somehow I just, I'll walk with you and see how you're doing. And if you're okay, I'll come back up. But uh, So we got partway down there. And there was this patch of grass, maybe 8 feet by 15 feet, sort of like an oval, like an egg, that was completely different color than any other grass on the side of the hill. And I said, Naomi, I said, this may sound weird. I said, but I think, I think this is where I'm supposed to adjust you. And she laid down on the grass, and I adjusted her. And she said, okay, let's go. And I said, where? She said, let's go. Up. She said, I feel great. And uh, I don't know if it was the grass, the spot. But uh, same sort of a, uh, like, holy shit, what's going on feeling. And I was in the... I, my son and I, I have a motorcycle. We live in Switzerland. It's April, so it's still winter. I mean, it's springy, but it's there's it snowed yesterday. We're kind of anxious to get the bike out, get it started, get it running. For the last two weeks, I've been trying to get it started, have it on the battery charger, and it just cranks over, won't start. Yeah. And today, my son and I pushed up and down the street trying to kickstart it, and it wouldn't do that. So uh, the mechanic is supposed to come tomorrow morning, at Monday morning, and uh, see if he can get it started. And I put the battery charger on. It's uh, just about 8 o'clock here now. And uh, I walked out to the garage. I thought, gee, I, it just feels like the bike will start now. And I uh, turned the gas on, pulled out the choke, turned the key, pushed the starter, and then boom, away I started. It, I, it absolutely blew my mind. Uh, I got the battery charger back on it till tomorrow but weirdnesses of weirdnesses um, the front fender needs some tending to stuff that I can't do and I was trying to take it off the other day didn't have the right wrench had pulled one of the bolts out uh, and laid it I thought right by the bike and I haven't been able to find that bolt because uh, I only got one out and then the others wouldn't come and I <laughs> thought I laid it right by the bike and I have not been able to find it in the last week. Uh, when I looked at the bike there's a couple of reflectors that are screwed on to hold a, a, a luggage rack on the back and I looked one that's on the ground and then one of my uh, bolts for the license plate is on the ground but it's all right there it's all right behind the bike so I picked the screw and reflector on turned it in uh, put the license plate bolt back on and then shine the flashlight right next to the bike, and there is the bolt for the fender. Uh, like I said, I don't know how life works. It, it mystifies me. Maybe I'm just easily mystified. Maybe I was nearsighted or farsighted or whatever that is until this evening. But just wanted to share it. One of those uh, magical mystery moments that don't make any sense to me. Have fun. www.micpeakperformance.com